In this video, we'll be going over a highly requested feature, a very exciting one, um, and that is the ability to uh, create test bots automatically and demo them to your potential leads and clients. So I'll just give you guys, you know, an idea of what we're going to be doing in this video. But basically, um, a lead will fill out this form, right? They'll put their business name, business type, and their website, and then that will trigger an automation over here. So on high level, right? It's going to trigger this automation. And you'll see we have a new step right here called make a test bot. So I'm going to click on that. So guys, what this is going to do is actually generate a bot, um, train it off of their website. And it's also going to take a screenshot of their website that you can attach to your next message. Um, so I'm just going to press save there. So the first thing we're going to uh, do is just go to app.roho.ai. Okay. So once you log into app.roho.ai, just go over to agency settings and scroll down here. On the bottom, I just added this little extra area right here. So you'll see now it has the test bot maker and we're just gonna copy this um, marketplace app ID. So similar to the AI workflow steps, this is a marketplace app on GHL. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it in another tab right here and press enter. Okay, and then you'll see we have the test bot maker. So I'm just gonna press install. You just need to install it on uh, one sub account. So look up maybe your main sub account or your demo sub account and then click on it. So we need to paste our Roho agency API key in here, right? So to get this, I'm going to go back to app.roho.ai, okay? So back on app.roho.ai under agency settings, I'm just going to copy my agency API key right here, guys. All right, so just click on copy and just paste that in there, okay? And then you'll just be redirected to our uh, current landing page, uh, letting you know that it was successfully installed. All right, guys, so I'll make a snapshot for y'all, but I'm just going to go ahead and create one from scratch because that's how easy it is to use these workflow steps and to use Roho, right? So you can have it triggered from a form fill, but you could also reactivate some of your um, leads. And if they have a website in their contact data, then you could use that. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to do the form and the form is the create bot form, press save, All right? So now we're going to scroll down under actions until we find the make a test bot action. All right, so here under Test Bot Maker, we're just going to click on that. And again, you'll see the API key field. So again, that's your agency API key from app.roho.ai. So paste that in here again. And then the business name, that'll be a custom field, right? So business name. And then business type as well is another custom field from our form. And then their website, of course, is just the contacts website. And you'll notice here we have the ability to actually take a screenshot of the website adding even more personalization to the um, outreach. So I'm going to toggle that on just so I can show you guys how awesome it is. I'm going to press save. All right. So that's going to return um, a couple or those three um, workflow variables, I guess is what we call them, right? Workflow variables. So I'm going to do a send SMS step next. And again, right, uh, we have that link for them to demo the test spot. So I'm just going to say, hey. so you can have it triggered from a form field, but you could also reactivate some of your um, leads. And if they have a website in their contact data, then you could use that. But for the sake of the video, we're just going to do the form and the form is the create bot form. Press save. All right. So now we're going to scroll down under actions until we find the guys. So now we can uh, personalize our outreach message right here. Um, I like to tell them, you know, Hey, I just saw your website, but I didn't see an AI chat widget. Oh, that's okay. I already made you one. And then you send it to him, but so I'm just gonna say, Hey, right. And then at this point we would say, here's the link to test it out. And to use those test bot workflow variables, we're just gonna click on the tag. And if you go back. You'll see now that we have the test bot maker available um, in the variable picker. So we're going to click on that, click on number one, and then test bot link, right? Charles. And then to actually add the screenshot, we're just going to go to add files through URL, click on the tag, scroll down to make a test bot again, right? And then select screenshot URL. And it's going to say invalid format, um, but you know, don't worry, because at runtime, it'll be an actual file URL, a PNG um, URL, but just save that. And it's going to say invalid format, um, but if you want to actually um, start it on, on them over SMS, you can do that as well. So you can say, hey, it also works over SMS, email, and tons of other channels. I'm going to turn it on for SMS right now. One sec. Right, so we can do that. And then, guys, all we have to do to start it over SMS is scroll down here to start bot. And remember, we got to put our bot ID. So all we're going to do is go to test bot maker, make a test bot, bot ID, lead info, leads name, just like always, right? Then we're going to turn it on SMS. If you want to actually um, start it on, on them over SMS, you can do that as well. So you can say, hey, 
It also works over SMS, email. So really all you need is just this one step and you can send them the link, but we're gonna take it a step further and um, actually start the bot over SMS. So I am going to go back and actually fill that form out now. And then right now it's going to scrape that website, generate the bot, and then send that out to us over SMS. Um, so it usually takes around a minute or two to do all that, but I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so as you can see, it has sent us a text message with a screenshot of the website that I entered, right? And then now it says, here's the link to test it out. So we can go test it out here. All right, so I'm just gonna test this out here. Right, and again, this is completely automated. So, you know, you can have hundreds of people fill out the form, thousands, and it'll do this every time, right? I know Run Deck is definitely downer. TV fancy. Right. Awesome. So you see it's asking some really good questions here. So if we go to our um, custom menu link, and we go to the very end, you can actually see that our bot has been added. So this is the demo bot that was made for the AI, right? All ready to go. So if they do turn into a client, right, all we would do is just copy this bot ID and then we already have a bot for them, right? So it's super, super powerful tool, guys. Um, and that website screenshot is just, you know, a crazy personalization, personal touch. And there you can see it's already reaching out over SMS. TV fancy, right? So again, guys, I hope you guys like this uh, new feature. We also have um, group calls every Tuesday and Thursday. So if you would like to, you know, come to those group calls, uh, just go ahead and sign up on app.roho.ai. Again, it's every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, we do have group support calls. So, yeah. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.